Here is uh here is Taft's uh, versus uh, Christopher. Uh, uh, yeah, Christopher Cuomo. I like um, Dua Lipa. Me too. Yeah. Me too. My daughter is a I singer. I would let her. And she would sing Dua Lipa, and I love what she does. I don't I know, know her some songs. people will say, "Oh no, too sexy." It objectifies. But right. I'm telling you, I watched my daughter and her her kind of resonating with the vibe, you know, and the uh-huh. empowerment principle of it. I but don't know the songs, I loved but it. I would let her shit in my mouth if she would. <laughs> Where does that come from? Um. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. We're sending Cuomo Friedland clips. So the mafia tried to kill your dad or not? No. Why are you filibustering? Why is it made up? Why no they- is filibustering. Okay, so what happened? So you what- know what that word means? Yeah. What? You read the phone book in Congress so that black people can't vote or something? I don't know. I'm going to tell you to come on during the Japan trip just like last time. I was supposed to have Adam on, but they were too fancy uh, to come on the stream alongside uh, Brandon when they were in L.A. They were in L.A. (laughs) recently. He's kind of yoked. Chris Cuomo? Kind of? Kind of. He's absolutely yoked. Como takes so many weird, almost homophobic jabs at the hose. Oh wow, I didn't realize he was a cum boy, dude. I think that's what they say. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not baptized in the Catholic Church, you should not confuse. If you don't let a guy with some dress put. <laughs> that's really nice. No, come on. Um, you it, make fun of an old guy with uh, who, who's trying to do the right thing. Who this guy? Yeah, the Francis? Argentine Francis. He's like in the band. You don't like him. Uh, he's the man. We well, just made fun of him for being in a dress. All of them are in dresses. All your guys way, are in dresses. I'll tell you what. I don't mean to be offensive, but you, you go did to a, mean to be offensive. You go to a place succeeded. where guys are wearing dresses. I'm gonna look. Oh my God! He's getting mad and defending Catholicism. What is this? What is this interview, dog? That's hilarious. This way for I'm not saying it's bad or good. I'm a modern man. <laughs> I'm still here, but I'm, I'm a, also in my own space. That was just an objective fact about the dresses. It's not a dress. What is it? It's got a. It's called a cassock. It's a dress, bro. It's not a dress. I mean, just the waistline alone makes uh, it not a dress. In fact, on the way down to, th- I think that's what they say. If you're not, if you're okay, I'll watch it. God damn it. you, assholes. Here, if you're not, if you're not baptized in the Catholic Church. Where's the imperialism? Oh, Fredo moment timestamp. There's zero chance you can make me laugh if I don't want to. Okay, but if you want, I'll participate. Okay, I love comedy. All right, so and I'm you, a Friedland fan. You famously said. That the, that the name... F- Wait, he says he's a Friedland? Fredo yeah. was like the N-word for Italians. Yes, that was a mistake. Isn't that actually just the N-word? Because <laughs> I hear a lot of y'all boys uh, no, saying that. It's a different word, but here's what I got wrong. <laughs> you didn't laugh, but that was pretty funny. You uh, that was funny? Or not? I'd give you like a C minus. No, because you were getting like... The, you were like uh, you no, thought I, I don't do be- it. I'm open. I'm What's open. I- you don't see this. Italophobic or what is it called? In this wow. country, you had a culture of oppression that was unique to black Americans. Yeah. Um, but I made a mistake that is a very common mistake, uh-huh. which is that all pain is personal, and if it matters to you, it matters as much as anything else. And that's not true. Now we have a politics where if somebody's worried that what's happening to them is... Un- Wait, what? what? No way. He didn't just... He did not. He did not say it's woke culture that's the reason why he can't he, he he got misinterpreted it's unfair it matters more than any other unfairness anywhere else and that's what you see in yeah. all of our politics now which is just who's worse what's more egregious what's more offensive i think joe's got it really yeah. wake up honey hassan is debating a comedy podcast again first of all the comedy here derives from adam friedland being a comedian and asking unhinged and silly questions to Christopher Cuomo who's taking it seriously so obviously I'm not criticizing what Adam is saying here I'm criticizing how he took it seriously and then turned around and tried to defend the Fredo thing in the funniest way possible are you going to vote for Joe Biden I think when you say he's sick you mean that he's dying no I think he's awesome oh (laughs) he's got a he has a Corvette and stuff when he, he put out that campaign video where he's the like... The Corvette that he parks right by the box of classified documents he wasn't supposed to have? I guess so. But when he said, he's like, I just love my car and I love like driving fast. I was like, 
This guy's got the, the election it's very in American. the bag. People are going to eat that shit up. I don't think it's wrong that they do, by the way. I, I think it's very good for our leaders to identify with our interests and our passions. I think that's important. Uh-huh. I think we've gotten away from that. They're like such a rare class. It's, it's so much so that when it does happen, we exaggerate how good it is, like AOC. Mm-hmm. AOC with the, I was a bartender and I was this, and all of a sudden there's so much attachment to how, hey, I can identify with that, I get it. I, I know that like she gets way too much love for that and not enough scrutiny of what she's actually doing in Congress. Well, you're saying people like her because she's a bartender? I think people like her for a lot of reasons, but I think one of the main attachments to her was that there was a relatability to her experience. Uh And I think what that can do is throw you off in terms of assessing her productivity. She wins the elections. I know, but the question is why? You can win elections. She's not winning because she's a bartender. That's 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 not, come on, that's... Do you think there were guys that were like on Tinder, like in NYC, like eight years ago, who were like just like turned on a TV and saw her, and then they're like, "I think I like, I think I fucked the president. I think this chick I met eight years, ago, some guy in Bushwick, some like, he's like, I'm pretty sure I fucked the president." That is the Bushwick accent yeah. now. Um, do you find AOC attractive? No, she's she's cute. Yeah. Now. She's Do cute. you find her attractive in the same way that you did in 2020 when you saw me during the pandemic? I was going through a tough time with that. But, and me like, too. Not as bad as me. Really? I'd rather fuck AOC, though. I don't see it as a competition. I like... Um, what is going on right now? Me too. Yeah. Me too. My daughter is a... I would- Okay, what? I don't know. I just think this is just a just a fading empire. It doesn't really matter at this point. But I wonder if the pillow is good. A fading empire. Yeah, of course. That's what you see us as. Yeah. Your parents. We hit a jackpot after World War II. We rebuilt Europe. Probably we blew it in one and a half generations. <laughs> So I, was the trying mafia, to, I was trying to distract from what you were vomiting out of your face. You're old. Dude, he is so... Why is he so offended at that? God, he's... Dude, old people are so funny. Like, how old is Chris Cuomo? I mean, I'm old. He's 52 years old. God damn, he looks good for 52. F- hell. Older than me. You had Reagan was the president when you were a teenager, right? Yes. Okay. When I was a teenager, Bush was the president. And I fucking hated Bush. Hey, why would you ever invest that in anybody else? Because what? What? What do you? What is he saying? They killed a million people. It's wrong. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's a pretty good take from. Love. I don't understand why people don't. I don't fucking love hate and Bush I don't though. hate. Here, here's what I don't like about it. Okay. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just telling you, it's an easier way to live. You're young. You I'm probably not, haven't I'm, had enough pain. I'm not going to kill Bush, but like, come on. Like, they went to the UN and they made up shit to go to fucking war. It was wrong. Listen, I agree. I <laughs> never accepted the yellow cake thing. I lived it in real time. I went over there uh, in real time. I felt the backlash from the American people. One of the greatest propaganda moves in my lifetime, 25 plus years in this business. We are railing on Bush for there having been no WMDs, weapons of mass destruction. Mm -hmm. And they come up with a great spin. I forget who it was. Maybe uh, Ari. I forget. Ari Shafir? Um, No. Um, Now I'm not going to know his name. Fleischer. Ari, Ari Fleischer. Thank you. They come up with the following spin. Hey, this no WMD, this yellow cake stuff, this ersatz, you know, all that stuff. Stop saying that. You're hurting morale. The American people believed it, stopped watching the news. And you know what we started to do? I was at ABC News at the time. Uh We stopped saying it. Bitch. (laughs) We stopped saying it. Why do you listen to them? People turn you off. You will not keep saying what made them turn so you off. So that's, that's my main question, right? Okay. There are three 8 p.m. primetime slots, right? No, but go ahead. This is your supposition. So Tucker, Tucker, we all remember he was this doughy bow tie guy mm-hmm. debating Paul Begala on CNN. Everyone's like, look at this dweeb, right? 
and then he got the 8 p.m. primetime slot on Fox. To what extent is it the hand fitting the glove that he is the primetime anchor on Fox during the Trump administration? Like, and there are three different brands. You have MSNBC, you have Fox, and you know, these are three different products. And, and to what extent does that distract from actually the purpose of like a viable third estate? Third estate? Fourth. Fuck. So, fuck. That's okay. Fuck. Can Cut we that. run that again? Cut I that. Run it again. It. Run it again. I crushed it. Run it again. I'll tell you, uh, I'll back into the answer this way. What's One, the third estate? It's a very, I don't know, nevertheless. Of course, of course, it's fitting the brand, especially and almost exclusively. And I, I started at Fox News, you know. I started working for Roger Ailes. He loved you. Um, he did love me. Yeah. And I left there because of, I saw what it was and what I had to do to be there. And I didn't want to do that. And not that everybody at Fox is bad, but the brand is obvious. So Tucker has changed Tucker was not always this way. Right. You know, he is absolutely a character that resonates. But all of these guys on the right, it's transactional. It's showbiz. But the problem is, that's not how the people at home are taking it. When you get people laughing, this is why I personally love comedy. And the most impressive comedy to me is where you get me to laugh at something that I shouldn't be laughing mm. at. I, I love that. I love when you do it. Um, Louis C.K. as, as, as a, a mocker of that. I'll, try, I'll try, try one after this. Please. Okay. Is that when you make me laugh at something that I mm. shouldn't be laughing at or that I don't even want to laugh at, that's genius to me. And that's okay because I know what's going on. Mm -hmm. These audiences don't know that when you're saying that uh, Putin's actually a good guy and I'm not January that. 6th didn't really happen, it I'm did. It did it. happen. It was just really funny. <laughs> so that's the danger is that you meet these people and they believe it. And those Fox watchers are different in that they watch almost nothing else. Yeah. In, in cable, the amount of sampling, when I look at my minute by minutes, right? So now I'm at this startup, News Nation. But when I was at CNN, I would look at the minute by minutes. And the average watch time when we were killing it would be somewhere between 11 and 14 minutes. And every commercial, there was like a 50% reset. Let me see what Maddow's saying. Let me see what the crazies are saying on Fox. Fox viewers, don't do that. What he's saying is 100% true, by the way. He's saying what, I've talked about this so many times. This is like backed by uh, Pew, Media Cent uh, Pew Center uh, Media Studies. What, what he's talking about is 100% correct. Like, all jokes aside, while you do that here, yes, even we do it. But also, uh, that is just like a normal habit of liberal news consumers versus Republican news consumers. 94% Republi of Republicans get all of their information from one outlet. It's an important thing to mention. It's an important thing to address. Because... That's how you understand why Republicans are the way they are. No, it's not the what else is on reflex. There's also, there's more to it than that. Liberals get a, uh, a diverse diet of media. Conservatives do not. They measure their viewership in hours. Everybody else is in minutes. Yeah, because okay? the nursing home doesn't give them the remote. No, there are young people there too. Do you yeah. still like the news? I do. It's not about like. It's about need. It's about the value of it. When you think about I can't be the only one kind of shot by how normal Cuomo's being. No, Chris Cuomo has always been very normal. That's not surprising. If you've ever watched, um, if you've ever watched Chris Cuomo's uh, broadcast, he was like on CNN. He was always seen as like the himbo. I used to make those jokes all the time. He's like one of the more normal uh, anchors. He also used to have on uh, Anna and... Uh, Young Turks broadcasters like regularly. Bro glazing for a Cuomo. I used to love Chris Cuomo. Fucking, he's Jack, dude. You know, I, it's, I have a soft spot for Jack boys, big boys, dude. About your next chapter in your life, right? You know, why not just like not do the news anymore? 
You could do others. You could be like Mario Lopez or something, right? You're pissed now. You're gonna hit me? No. <laughs> what do you think? Does my face betray that? I don't know. The news. The news sucks. The news does not suck. The news sucks, bro. No, you want it to suck. The the news sucks. What, and the news when you were. Agree- I think he got all that muscle in 28 days. Yeah, he was on the Nautilus program. <laughs> Growing up, was what your favorite thing in the world? When was the news amazing? When they let OJ get off. That was great. That was a great day. It was the best day of my life. <laughs> Were you even alive? Yeah, of course. Are you sure? I remember the Bronco chase. Look it up in Wikipedia. Was, you don't remember the Bronco chase. You didn't watch it in real time. Yes, I do. What color was the interior in the Bronco? Wrong. They showed the outside Wrong. of the Bronco. Wrong. What are you talking about? What was the name of the guy driving? Wrong. <laughs> I think silence is underrated on TV. Let's try it. Of course I remember the Bronco. That was Al wrong. Collins. AC. His teammate at USC. Dude, OJ, hell of an RB1. 2,000 yards? Unreal. RB1. You dropped your ball. I mean, what is it with this chair, man? It like pickpockets you. <laughs> Sorry about the chair. I'll get another one. 30 years I've had this wallet. Really? Let me see. Yeah, I carry this around with me. In it. Here, I'll give you both. What is this? I love the cops. In the time you're like, I do love the cops. You don't love the police? Who keeps you safe? Who is this guy? He was a writer. He's good? No, he sucks. That's why I carry around one of his quotes <laughs> in my wallet. <laughs> Please give it back. Did your dad get you a lot of traffic tickets and stuff when you were a kid? No. If I were you, I would have just been driving drunk all my entire adolescence. Really? Yeah, I would have been like, I'm on, I'm the king of the world. I would have been Roger Clinton. Bill- that was so New Jersey, it's not even funny. No, he sucks. That's why I keep him around in my fucking wallet. That is the most New Jersey moment, dude. Billy Carter. <laughs> You're a, you turned out great. Oh, yeah. Life You're is a well-adjusted, grand. great, great family man. So the mafia tried to kill your dad or not? No. Why are you filibustering? Why is it made up? Why no they... is filibustering. Okay, so what happened? So Do you what... know what that word means? Yeah. What? You read the phone book in Congress <laughs> so that black people can't vote or something? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one. I don't know, some shit like that. Dude. You are very funny, but you also uh, make me nostalgic at the same time. And not For just what? because you have the same shoes on as my fourth grade nun, but because uh, oh, I shit. like... The, uh, the vibe of this is very cabin-esque. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going for. Hey, what better standard of a guy who knows funny talking to people about a whole range of things than that cat? He's not that funny. He was just good at talking to people. He was good at making the other person their best version yeah. of themselves. He wasn't dropping bombs like, you know, I've been Well, you, you throw Wait, haymakers. Can I, can I do, a, I'll do one that you don't want to laugh at, but. There's zero chance you can make me laugh if I don't want to. Okay. But if you want, I'll participate. Okay. I love comedy. All right. So, you- so the Fredo thing, which he's about to talk about again, um, uh, you know, that, that is the reason why we do the Italians or POC meme in here. Like, I've, obviously, I've made a lot of Italian jokes uh, throughout the years as someone from, someone who went to college in New Jersey. But the entire, like, Oh, hey, I'm fucking, well, you better not be calling me Fredo over here, motherfucker Maroon. Like, that literally is because of Chris Cuomo. And I'm you, a Freeland fan. You famously said that the, that the name Fredo yeah. was like, like the N-word for Thanks. Italians. Yes, that was a mistake. Isn't that actually just the N-word? Because <laughs> no, I hear a lot of y'all boys uh, no, saying that. It's a different word, but here's what I got wrong. <laughs> you it didn't matters. laugh, but that was pretty funny. Did uh, you know that was funny or not? I'd give you like a C minus. No, because you were getting like, you were like, uh, you no, thought I was No, I don't do be, it. I'm open. I'm what's open. I, you don't see this. Italophobic or what is it called? In this country, you had a culture of oppression that was unique to black Americans. Yeah. Um, but I made a mistake that is a very common mistake, uh-huh. which is that all pain is personal. And if it matters to you, it matters as much as anything else. And that's not true. Now we have a politics where if somebody's worried that what's happening to them is unfair, it matters more than any other unfairness anywhere else. And that's what you see in all of our politics now, which is just who's worse. Like, I think people, dude, dude, I think people were like, 
beaming on him, but I don't think anybody was like, oh, we got to cancel him. I certainly wasn't like... I don't know. I, I just didn't... <laughs> Damn, good explanation. What's more egregious? What's more offensive? That's not a good explanation it. at really? all. He's fucking complaining about why people were quote-unquote canceling him, which they weren't, because uh, he got popped off on Fredo and compared it to... He wasn't defending it. He was admitting he was wrong for saying it. Yeah, no, that wasn't why he got canceled. He got canceled for defending his brother. Yeah, he's sick. Are you going to vote for Joe Biden? I think... When you say he's sick, you mean that he's dying? No, I think he's all... said interests in us. It is like AOC. Some reasons, but I think one of the main... I she wins the election. That's, a, that's a NYC, like, I think I, like, I think I fucked the president. I think I find it that you did in 2020 when you saw me during the pandemic. I was going through a tough time at that moment. And me like, too. We watched that as bad as me. Really? I'd rather fuck AOC, though. I don't see it as a competition. I like um, Dua Lipa. Me too. Yeah. Me too. My daughter is a I singer. I would let her. And she would sing Dua Lipa. And I love what she does. I don't know I know her some songs. people will say, oh no, too sexy, it objectifies. But uh, I'm telling you, I watched my daughter and her, her kind of resonating with the vibe, you know, and the uh -huh. empowerment principle of it. I but don't know the songs. I loved it. I would let her shit in my mouth if she would. Where does that come from? Seriously. Where does it come from? I don't from? know. It just came out. I don't know. Where? Where? Like, did you see that somewhere? Or? It wouldn't even be pleasant if she did that. It absolutely would not be pleasant. I'm just saying I would, I would do the worst thing ever to be with her. Ugh. Right? I mean, there's so that. So why do they say the mafia tried to kill your dad? That's where your brain goes. Yeah, I, I'm just like, you're, I just want to know. I want to know why people are saying, why, why is that on your dad's Wikipedia? It is not on my dad's Wikipedia. Literally. Although if it were, it would make my point about Wikipedia. The reason they say it is that's the cell. Mario Cuomo, the swarthy ethnic. Remember, it wasn't now. Now I'm just a white guy. But this came out after he was in office. But that's the point. He was cast as that, always. When they used to describe my father, mm -hmm. they used to call him swarthy, mercurial, hot-blooded, gap-toothed, all these different identifiers for ethnic immigrant mm -hmm. class. Mm -hmm. And that mafia thing was fundamental to that. Why didn't he run for president? Oh, it's, be it's because he's a made guy. But he said um, he didn't want to. He, that's exactly the truth. Mm -hmm. You don't have to accept it, okay? Because the Camorra were going to shoot. It was him. not the Camorra. It wasn't even a Camaro. It was nothing to do with the mob. He hated the mob. He hated mob movies. Uh, he hated. What an idiot. He did not think. This is the truth. He, and, and it's foreign to our reality today. My father did not believe he was good enough to be president of the United States. Amazing. And when you would say to him, but it's a relative assessment, Pop. You got to run against this guy. He'd say, no, that's for you. That's for him. For me, I have to think that I'm the best guy for this, and I'm not. He wanted that's you to be the president? No. I would never Why be not? a part of elected office. It'd be funny. I, uh, <laughs> you, be a, you get a plane. I like that. Why not? It would be funny. Yeah, why yes. not? Yes, if I were doing a bit, that's a good bit. No, um, people like you. That's what I'm saying. People like you. Some people like me, some people don't. And in both cases, no, it's often even, irrational. But you, can I ask you another question? Yes. What, su what supplements for the gym? None. You know, I, I Let think me you got to be very careful with that stuff. You don't take... Uh, Do you exercise? I'm going to start again. I'm working too hard on the show. It's paying off. Thanks. i got to tell you. I like it. I like the crew. I, love I like it. the setup. I, love I like what you're doing with it, your vibe. Uh huh. Are you going to wear this every time? I, I got to get another suit. I don't know. At CNN, I wore the same thing every night. One, nobody knew. Two, I became very identifiable as the man in black. Is it true that Wolf Blitzer 
is wearing just penis out under the desk? <laughs> no. Wolf Blitzer, I called it's true, the he's captain lying. when I was there. He is the he was the exemplar of everything we wanted to be. The guy works his ass off. It's like a Stallone a character. Man. I know. Wolf Blitzer. Except instead of being a cartoonish fool, uh, Blitzer is just an earnest. You're good anti Stallone. Guy. Wait. He calls himself an Adam Ethnics? What the fuck? Um, okay, we'll get back to that in a second. I don't love his characters. So, I, Chris, I wouldn't hate anyone, okay? You get easily offended, huh? No. That little pouty mouth thing you Stallone's do. Stallone's done amazing things for us. Ajar. For us, okay? You put anything in your lips? No, I'm just a Jew. Yeah. Boy, you are right. I don't like your dad not liking mafia movies. He hated. He sounds like mafia one of those movies. northerners judging us from the south. Uh, no, he sounds nothing like that. What he is he sounds is like an one Italian those... guy who had to be called a mobster by people like you all the time because I don't that's call them the mobsters. reference. You really believe this, the mob tried to kill my father? So you're covering up for the mafia? Right? Inside job. You try to kill your dad, Menendez style? He was a truly humble man mm. um beautiful guy real product of his time uh real product of the dream and the initiative of this country that you say is dead um well, he's so say offended that. He did. by you said that it's like a, a empire in decline or some bullshit like that what he it is was he's so he's still holding on to that dude that's crazy <laughs> my man is dick riding america all about getting a chance, working his ass off. I think pressed about the United States people like that all the PR. time in this country. More than anywhere else in the world. Now, people say, what about know. China? We have... That's ridiculous. We have an explosion of potential. That's, what that's about China? jingoistic to say we're smarter than everyone else? Jingoistic. Just people are people. Do you know where that comes from, that word? From Jingo Unchained. <laughs> 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 oh god he loved it that's funny um no i am not putting down other countries by saying that what we're doing here is unique we have rock and roll we have eminem <laughs> we have dunking crossovers we do six shit here we do whatever we want to do here we're used to and that is what the world envies the country, I don't know, the country is a country. It's just a country. It's different than any other country. Are your muscles for show or for go? <laughs> All works. I do no show. I do no bodybuilding. All go. All fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Cuomo, everyone. <laughs>